the jacks. You want to ID some snakes? No? You don't want to ID some snakes? Come on, man. Help me out. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm about to wrap up my day. But before I do, I wanted to share um, that, that super OD yellow belly past a weirdo clutch with you guys, a weirdo puzzle clutch with you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm really, really excited about the puzzle project. I think it's the next clown um, equivalent gene. I mean, the clown, the clown was first produced, I think, in like 1997 or something like that. And I mean, it's been around for over 24 years, 20 plus years. Consider that. And we're still producing some crazy clown combos today. So I think the puzzle is going to be that next clown G. I think 10, 20 years from now, um, you're going to be seeing some crazy puzzle combos come out. So let's check out some puzzles. All right, guys, this is the clutch that we're going to look at today. This, this clutch came from a pastel OD yellow belly uh, weirdo puzzle uh, bred to a pastel OD head puzzle. Um, so pastel OD yellow belly weirdo puzzle bred to a pastel OD head puzzle. All right, guys, so the first animal up from this clutch, I'm not going to go through uh, all of the animals, but um, I'm just going to go through a few examples. A, a couple of them haven't shed yet. But this one is a super pastel weirdo. Um, it doesn't have any orange dream in it. Um, it's just super pastel weirdo. And you see the weirdo affects the color, but it also breaks up the pattern. You see that weird pattern towards the tail, like that shatter pattern. That's typically what I'm seeing with weirdo. It impacts the color, and then it, it, it breaks up that uh, tail pattern um, on the sides. It's like a shadow pattern. You see that? You guys can see that. Uh, that. Okay, here you have another um, weirdo, but this one is this one appears to be uh, orange green, uh, some orange green. Um, and as you can see, that weirdo. Hotel marker it does affect the color, um, but it also has that broken up pattern going down towards the tail, like, uh, that shadow pattern. Um, so this one appears to be pastel, um, super OD, pastel, weird. These are all 100% head puzzles. Okay, this animal here, this animal appears to be uh, super OD, yellow belly, pastel, weird. Again, look at the tail. Pretty consistent. Alright, see that? that shattered pattern. Pretty consistent in the real project. And uh, this is a pretty good looking animal. Uh, and again, 100% head puzzle. Now this here is a pastel weirdo puzzle. Um, I'm not sure if it's yellow belly. I don't think so. But you see the side pattern? How the side pattern gets wiped out? Uh, on these animals, um, and it also it also messes with the pattern a little bit. This would be a typical puzzle pattern, <clears throat> but yeah, these are cool snakes. Uh, this is a male. Okay, this next animal is a pastel uh, orange dream weirdo puzzle. And, uh, I don't think it's yellow belly. Typically, the yellow belly uh, OD pastel weirdo yellow bellies are a little, uh, a little more yellow. Um, but this is a cool snake. Um, really weird it out. See that side pattern? Weird it out. It almost looks calico. Yeah, these are pretty cool. This is a metal as well. This one. Okay, last but not, not least is uh, this one here. This one. Uh, there's going to be a super orange tree, pastel uh, weirdo, it's not a female. Um, again, I'm not 100% certain that it's yellow belly, it could be. Um, my theory is that the yellow bellies are usually a little more yellow. Um, but this is a cool snake, a really, really cool snake. Yeah, beautiful animal. So, this is some of the weirdo stuff. I'm gonna have more weirdo stuff uh, hatching out, and also some more cryptic stuff. I think all of these guys have have that cryptic gene floating in them. Um, so let's 
を飛び出す。